Hey guys, John Vaporoning Technologies here again here today. Uh, we are working with some ABS plastic. And for those of you who might be new to the channel, or for those of you who may have forgotten, like me sometimes, I forget things, right? Blasting and prepping plastic parts, one of the most incredible things that vapor honing can do. You can clean plastic parts, you can clean rubber, it doesn't damage those things. We're gonna strip this paint, this is a factory paint, off of a Suzuki motorcycle shield for, for an exhaust. We're gonna strip the factory paint off without damaging the plastic, and we're gonna recoat this. You can't even tell, like if you could feel this, you can't even tell that I've removed the original paint versus the plastic. That's how smooth it is, but it's a profiled etched surface, so it's ready to accept the new paint. So it's not like completely smooth where it doesn't accept anything, but it's not extremely rough where it's you know, noticeable and visible after it's painted. I've actually ruined some parts in the past when we were trying some different abrasives where it was so rough that it was unusable, right? And that was just testing. But um, this is a very tough, durable material. And uh, you can see how impeccable the vapor honing process is when it's removing the coating without damaging the part. But we were using an aluminum oxide for your reference. I know you guys oftentimes have questions on what we're using. This was an aluminum oxide. Um, slurry that we blasted the part around 90 psi only takes a couple minutes this is not slow and painstaking like you might think um, but I will tell you you cannot do this in a dry blast cabinet you just can't um, you will pit and destroy this part that's where the water from the vapor honing process cushions the abrasive and allows that abrasive to just literally rub across the part it's scrubbing away whatever contaminants, or in this case, paint, scrubbing away versus trying to mechanically hit it and abrade it away. In a video that I previously shot, I talked about how when I first designed these cabinets, I designed them to be high enough, but low enough to sit at. So this is a good old trusty stool from Harbor Freight that we bought. I think this is about 30 inches in height from the floor to here, and it's perfect. You can sit and blast for hours at one of these machines. As you can tell, this old girl has been used and abused quite frequently. This is a 2016 model. This is the very first cabinet um, that I ever built in 2016. This thing has no wear. It's just dirty and it's been beat on, right? But it still works. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff differently that we've tested on this machine over the years, but um, just it's just been an R&D project and she's still here and I can't get rid of her. Not a possible, not possible. literally like we're washing away the paint um, it's just quick I'm just gently brushing over the surface just gently brushing over the surface there you can see the aluminum oxide on there so quickly removing this paint so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this part up and then we'll show you the after result So I'm just rinsing the part off here. That is before we've dried the part off. That is what it looks like. That's clean. We're actually going to be coating this with a thin film coating, um, Cerakote. For those of you wondering, I'm going to be coating some rims and some body panels that are old, just old outdated parts, faded paint. Plus everybody likes that blacked out look nowadays. So. That's what I figured I was gonna go for on this bike. Um, this would be a good example of the water break test. You drop water on it. If the water wets out the surface and doesn't just bead and run off, um, then it's ready to accept a coating or adhesive. So in this case, this part's obviously ready to accept a coating because you can see how it's literally, it looks like it's painted the part until I dry it. See what? Look at that. So if, if the water were to hit this and bead and run off without like wetting the part out, um, it would have failed the water break test. But we can show you that on some com composite parts. But I just thought of it because that's exactly what's happened here. We've, we've etched the surface so that the water will disperse and not just run off. If this were freshly painted, the water would hit and run off, right? It would, be, it would stay beaded it wouldn't just like completely moisten the surface. Moisten, is that a word? I don't know. This is a freshly prepared 
ABS plastic part, ready, ready for the new coating. So we'll hang this up on our little paint booth and we will spray this and we will show you how beautiful this is afterwards. But now that we've etched the surface with aluminum oxide, it's gonna give you a very durable coating. So the coating's not just gonna flake off. If you had a very smooth surface, the coating's not gonna bond and stick to the parts. That's why you wanna use an aggressive media um, such as aluminum oxide. Again, every coating has its own preparation requirements. Um, oftentimes they're very vague and very general that we found um, within the world. It's like, oh, well, it just needs to be rough. Well, what's rough? You know, so we go into talking about surface roughness in detail. Um, we can do testing. We're gonna be doing testing to show you guys different roughnesses and what the coatings look like on those surfaces, so on and so forth. You guys are gonna get so much information here on the channel. In saying that, make sure if you like content like this that you subscribe to the channel, that you give us the thumbs up on the videos, you like, follow all of our pages, all of our content. Uh, we release content daily on all of our different social media channels. And we do that to try to help you make a more informed decision. When you're buying your next machine, you can make a very informed decision. So if you like all this, or if you have more questions, call or email the sales team. They're always a phone call, email or text message away. Um, and they monitor that stuff 24 seven. So they're here to help, but hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching.